And no one's really ever wanted me, for gosh sakes. I'm just a little too independent, do things my own way, and, and just want to get the job done. And sometimes, you know, you step on eggshells, and that's an ouch. Uh, it's not your traditional way of necessarily going along to get along. It's really kind of funny. At one point, I asked if I could be a township trustee in Riverside. And the boys that were there said, well, we really don't want you because you're too young and you're female. So you're not going to, you'd be good, but it's always like you'd be good, but we really don't want you. But we were the smallest part of that district, and I was just told to go home and bake cakes. And so anyway, when that came up, uh, I, I ran for it, and they, of course, said it could never happen, and I lived in the wrong place, and the organizations didn't want me, the Republican organizations didn't want me, and so it was, and I beat everybody, and I, I somehow won. As a kid, I wanted to be a veterinarian. And especially because my mother was so avant-garde in terms of doing all these wonderful things uh, just by example in terms of what women were doing. Uh, and my father, always very, very supportive. Uh, when it really got down to it, my father said, well, you, you, I won't put you through school to be a veterinarian. That's a man's job. You're not going to be throwing around some cow, for heaven's sakes. So I thought, well, next runner-up, I, I really like writing. I write reasonably well. Uh, and I, the whole idea of reporting uh, was of interest to me, especially uh, going after corruption. It was good. You know, I mean, I had people chase me around. I climbed fences. I mean, I was in riots, and people shoot at me, and, and all sorts of stuff. Uh, you got a real broad, broad background, which helped me in politics. You also learned how to ask who, what, when, where, why, and how, which really helped in, in terms of serving in the legislature, the House, and the Senate. And, uh, you know, I just became kind of a little old bulldog. Nice bulldog, but bulldog none nonetheless. I always wanted to be Brenda Starr, and I became Brenda Starr, except there wasn't any Basil St. John, you know, with the black eye patch and the black orchids and stuff. But she had the long red hair, and so did I, and which I cut when I was in the legislature, so it looked a little more business business like, you know, kept the, kept everything in order. And uh, you know, it's it's, uh, but it was it was the Brenda Starrism. It was really good. I got things done, and uh, I got buildings, bad buildings that were going to fall down, rebuilt. I got schools helped out. I could, I must admit, I overshot my bounds a bit, which is one way I learned, which went on to politics. You could, you could get public support if you went to the people and proved your case. My spare time, I, I have a little garden. I, I like my gardening. I like playing with my dogs uh, because I take in really old dogs or fondlings. Uh, it takes a lot of veterinary work. I'm, I'm constantly taking them in because many of them are, are old and sick and they need a little help. So I love to read. Like I subscribe to Archaeology Magazine. I read that cover to cover. I love ancient history, so I get a chance to do that. I, and what I really like to do in my spare time, I love to go to estate sales and I love to go to thrift shops and see if I can. It's the hunt. I like to get the good deal. I've gotten great clothes there. I've gotten wonderful little goodies here, you know, you can see my lion collection and my Scotty collection, my pig collection, my, my music box collection. And of course, I, I talk almost daily to my son, he's in the army, uh, married to Christina, who uh, he met when he was in Alaska, when he was stationed in Alaska. And they've given me this wonderful little granddaughter named uh, Alexandra Faith Bar Topinka. She will be a year old in March. I had wonderful parents, wonderful grandparents, a wonderful son, a great family. We were crazy and dysfunctional as you could possibly have anybody. And it all came together and just made for a wonderful mix. I wouldn't trade a, a, a stitch of my life.